Hi guys and welcome to part 21 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials and on this part we are going to design the books view. We have already designed the home view where we show the top rated books and the books that we have not read yet but on the books view we are going to show all the books. So for that let's go to books.component.html file because this is the view that we use to show all the books. So go to books and here we have books.component.html and for the moment we just have an ng4 directive which is used to iterate through all the books and just display the book title. Let's remove the previously added code and here we add a new toolbar which is all books. Now to display the books we are going to use a grid list and on this grid list we are going to display three columns of books. And this grid list is going to contain a lot of grid tiles because we are going to use for each book a separate tile. So we add in here a grid tile and since we are going to use a grid tile to display all the books we need to repeat this grid tile so for that just write in here ng4 let book of all books the all books in here comes from the component so if you go to books.component.ts in here you are going to see that we have all books of type any so we are going to iterate through all the books and we are going to use a card to better display the data so we have here a card with a class book tile the card is going to have a header and inside this header we are just going to display the book title and after the book title we are going to display the book image so for that we need to use the image tag with the md card image decorator here we are going to write that the source of the image is book.imageurl value as an alt value we are going to show the book title and at the end we are going to display the actions of the card and we see that we have two actions we see that the first one is the book details and the second one the edit book the book details action is going to be handled by the router link book slash book dot key which means that we are going to redirect the user to the book details and the second one which is the edit book is going to be handled by the edit book slash the id of the book let's save the changes and go back to our browser so now here we see that we have all the books and if we click the book details since we implemented this one on the last part we're going to be redirected to the details for that book so here we have the details for the book. So guys, this is all for this part. On the next part, we are going to implement the add book functionality. If we go here to this view, we are going to see that we have the add books view rendered, but we have not implemented the view or the functions for this view. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next part.